Well, folks, welcome to our show this week. This is a special, really a special edition of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. And the two guys I've got on my right, well, they, with 20 years of support from Chevrolet, and these guys have been there throughout the 20-year anniversary of our show. Chevrolet has been with us that long. And I tell you what, and I hope we got 20 more years, but I have to introduce my wingmen today. We're down here at Southern Woods Plantation doing a little bit of quail hunting, a lot of fellowship, and a lot of memories. And you're going to see some of those memories with these two guys. I got Kurt Newbreck. He's the marketing manager for the southeastern region. You've seen him before. And this guy over here, Ed Bailey. Ed is just one of those guys that General Motors and Chevrolet, he just, he just keeps coming. I'm telling you, both these guys have had a history with me over the past 20 years. Great friends, and moreover, they're good outdoorsmen, too. And with that, guys, I got to thank you for being on the show today. Pleasure. Ed, thank you, Bob. You know, Kurt, I tell you what, we, we have good company. Yeah, we do, <laughs> for sure. A lot of laughs. Well, you know, the, both the history behind all of this, you know, and, and we're going to talk a little bit more about it, but I've, I've got to tell folks that the 20 year history about my sponsorship and my relationship with Chevrolet has just been has been tremendous for me and I believe in in Chevrolet and you guys know that as well but we're gonna we're gonna talk about some first for you guys too okay on yep. the show as we as we bang oh some boy. quail out here yeah <laughs> and you know with Ed with you um, I tell you what it's uh, it's been a long long time 20 years buddy it has man started in 2004 then you turned it yeah. over to this guy. Yeah, man, I'll tell you, we've been from Florida to the ocean to you name it. Yeah. You two guys have been there with me and I couldn't have done it without you both. I appreciate it. You're a great partner. I tell you what, honesty, integrity is hard to find in this business. So well, that's it, why this has lasted. I, I, you're almost gonna get me teary eyed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you both on the show together because we've never done that before and this yep. is gonna be a first, but you know, our 20th anniversary with Chevrolet, brother, huh? It, and Bob, you've been a great partner for us. Yeah. You've been a great partner for Chevrolet, always showcasing our fantastic lineup. Uh, I can't thank you enough for 23 well, years. Well, guys, it's, it's all because you allowed me to do it, and, and I love it. I mean, I, I'm telling you. Uh, matter of fact, again, the truck I'm in, folks, right now, the 2024 ZR2 Bison, <laughs> I got to tell you, the, it, it is the finest platform out there. And guys, I'm gonna, I, I, I just tell you, I'm, I'm so excited. I've never seen Bob smile more about a new vehicle than this one. So uh, it, listen, it, good. it is. And so when you guys see it going down the road, man, holler at me, yeah. thumbs up. I'm ready to go All quail right. hunting. How about you? Let's do it. Let's go get some Let's birds. Let's go get some birds. Rooster. Oh my goodness. Jeez. It has been a great time. Our Chevrolet destination this week takes us to Southern Woods Plantation, located just south of Sylvester, Georgia. Southern Woods invites you to immerse yourself in the pristine woodlands of South Georgia. Enjoy first-rate dining and lodging. Southern Woods offers world-class upland bird hunting for day trips and overnight excursions for individuals or corporate groups. Go online at southernwoodsplantation.com and book your quail hunt of a lifetime today. And to get to your next outdoor destination, make sure you're getting there in style and comfort. Visit Chevrolet.com for a dealer near you. Tell you what, Kurt, you let me let me slide around to the right. Yeah, I could. Okay. We got the buggy up up yep. top on the top of the hill. All right, where are they, Nilo? There you go. Get him, Kurt. Down. Bird Man, down. I was hamstrung on that one. That yep. was a tough one. Thank you. He's still. Ha! Bird down. Nice, nice. Well, nice. I'm out. All right, get. Some, there may be more in there. All right. Oh, we got more in here. Get ready. Take it. Take it. Oh. Nice. I think he's going down. There we go. Yep. There we got him. You got him. Ha! There you go, Bob. I know I got him. Woo! You did. Yeah, he's down. He's down. All right. Mm. Another one down. Listen. Is there is there not 
a more beautiful scenic spot to quail hunt. Oh yeah, the water and ah, this is you know, and folks, I tell you what, this guy has been a special friend to me. When I first met you, it was on a it was on a skeet shoot down in Macon, Georgia, it was. and we shot together. Yeah. And it's just been a friendship. Well, this for me, it's been very, very special over the years, Kurt. And I can't thank you enough for the confidence that you put in me and what we do here, and and moreover, um, the relationship and more the friendship that we've created. It's just yeah. been very, very special. Like I said, the partnership. I mean, you bring honesty, integrity to this business, and uh, that's why we've been with you for 20 plus years, and hopefully, we'll be there for another 20 more. Yeah, man. So. Well, we got to be because we got to. We got to talk about some firsts here in our relationship. Now, the first time we shot skeet, but you had never caught a redfish before no. in your life. I mean, and we were able to get you on your first giant redfish, okay? And so, can you recall that trip that day? I, it's just like, it was yesterday to me. Yeah, I remember coming over and went to Georgetown there and we had a, a wonderful guide and took us out there. We had a day was just gorgeous. And I'll tell you, bringing those redfish in, uh, it's a lot of work. I didn't realize how much effort goes into pulling one of those in, but uh, <laughs> it's well worth the. Uh... <laughs> you know, well, you know, the thing about it is, it, it really catches you by surprise. It so, does. but I tell you what, for us not talking about it, we're going to show the folks out there your first wow. redfish, okay? Yeah. And folks, listen, let's take a look at the footage and watching this guy get on his first redfish out of Georgetown with none other than our good friend, Captain Tommy Scarborough. Fish on? Oh, fish on, Bob. All right, get him, Kurt. Get him, brother. Ah, Tommy, we've had him nibbling at that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get him, bro. There. Yeah, man. Got it? Yep. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, you know, you're getting good at this now. Yeah, all right. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Oh, nice. That's a nice redfish. Nice one. Mm. <laughs> grab him, Bob? <laughs> I don't care. It don't matter. <laughs> Just watching him wrestling around with him. <laughs> and then when, he's, when he goes silent, that's what, <laughs> that's what the good thing. <laughs> ah, that's a horse. That, that is, is a horse. That is a big one. Yeah. Yeah, man. Ah, oh, awesome. You're a red fisherman. I I'm am. telling you, man. All right, well, Never put him back. Well, there would be more where that came from. Awesome. Understand the fish. Design the bait. No, redesign it. Trim this. Add that. Definitely more of that. Perfect. Will they smash it? <laughs> Smashing it and holding it. That's how we do it. That's the formulas. Tweak the colors. Make it sing. Make it dance. Optimize design for that lateral line. All with a single track mind for getting hit, staying bit, ripping lips for making any fish your fish. That's our science. Berkeley science, baby. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina, the old 96th district is comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick counties. Rich in history and small town charms, the old 96 district is part of South Carolina's freshwater coast with over 2,000 miles of shoreline offering lakeside camping, boating, and fishing. Local shops offer a variety of unique gifts, artwork, and food. Discover the unexpected wonders of the old 96 district of South Carolina. Here's a safety tip from DNR. If you're leaving a hunt after sunset, make sure you have a headlamp or a flashlight to alert other hunters of your presence. Remember, Safe hunt is no accident. This has been another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. Chevy lets you begin every day fully charged. So you can go farther. And so can your money. Tow with confidence. Plus, stay connected with available OnStar technology. For summer adventures, Chevy's got you. Get 5750 total value on this Silverado LT when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. Chevrolet, together let's drive. Remember, when you're out hunting game, do not use your rifle scope to identify game or your target. Use a good set of binoculars. And remember, safe hunting is no accident. This has been another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. 
Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you by these great partners. Discover South Carolina. There is always something new to discover in our state parks and all across the Palmetto State. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall. The South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. The old 96th District of South Carolina, Come discover the unexpected wonders of South Carolina's 96th District and by South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your one stop for all your company's promotional needs. We got some beautiful points. Folks, I've swapped up and now my wingman is Ed Bailey in this segment. Ed, I'm telling you, heavy Let's lifting over there. Oh, come on, Milo. Mm. Boy, those dogs look great. I'm serious. The sun's coming up, southern woods, quails flying. Milo says, I know where they are. Two down. Nice shooting, nice shooting, Ed. Oh, I got more, we gotta get well, reloaded. Got away. Woo! <laughs> ah, man, woo! Awesome, awesome. That was a good covey rise. Mm. All right, another beautiful point. That's a beautiful point. Flush them up. Got him. Get more. Get him up. Nice, Ed. Nice shot. Ah. Beautiful. Beautiful shot. That was a double. Yes, sir. Man, I tell you what, there ain't nothing better than a covey rise early in the morning. Mmm. That was a nice rise. Okay. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Look, folks, I have to tell you, before we tell the first about this guy, I have to tell you the two. Um, there's a story that really goes back into the annals of our show here. You all have seen us go on raccoon hunts all through the night and all of that, but this guy is a raccoon hunting fool. And <laughs> back in 2005, no, we, we were... <laughs> That's right. We, we were down in Georgia, down on the Georgia-Florida line at the Georgia Grand American Raccoon Hunt, and Ed decided he wanted to go with us. And so, and so go with us, you did. That was one of our first years. And it was. And so with that, Ed put on the waders, he gave me a flashlight, and we walked all night long. And I tell you what, we did get some, we did get some trees that night. We treated a lot of trees. But we pulled up in that big field out there that night, get ready to unload. And I'll never forget it. He was in the back of my new Silverado, my HD 2500, and all in that lot, there were 15 trucks around there. You remember that? 15 trucks, and guess what brand were they all? Everyone was a Silverado. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously those guys are quality guys, because uh, they know a good You truck. know they do, but listen, <laughs> on all that, um, we got you on a first, okay? Oh, yeah. uh, and over the past 20 years, between you and Kurt, you guys have just been such special friends to me and supporters of our shows. But that first trip that we did for you was we also got you on your first redfish. <laughs> and I tell you what, do you remember that day? Oh, I remember. Over there in the harbor. Yes, I do. I'm telling you, you were a reeling fool. Yeah. Yeah. That's, great, you know, and that's that, the great part about your show, Bob. You may like fishing, you may like quail hunting, you may like deer hunting, turkey, no matter where you go, it's great. And then you get to cook it all up too. There you go. Great. Well, and I couldn't get there without my Silverado. Okay. <laughs> and and the support of Chevrolet and all you guys. But folks, I put Ed on his first redfish, just like we did Kurt. Let's take a look at some of that great footage and see just how excited he was. Get him. <laughs> yeah, I think we do. Okay. Unless you're caught up in me. I don't I don't think so. No, nope, no, nope. no. No, man, you got, you got a fish. On. All right, that's okay. I got two on. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Woo! When they turn, they turn. Oh man. All right, man. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You got him? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got a fighter here. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I think this is an HD. <laughs> oh, no, this no, is no light is, duty. Now that is flat funny. All right. Uh, where am I? Am Don't I over us. you or under I'm you? I'm under you. All right. I'm uh, under you? No. Uh -uh. Go okay. over me. Here. There, go I'm to the back. You. There we go. We'll switch. <laughs> I'll go around. <laughs> Jeez. My knees, Louise. <laughs> All right. I can't, I can't reel for stop laughing. <laughs> you got a couple spots on that. Oh, yeah, yours is bigger than mine. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. We got okay. the HD here. <laughs> we got the HD here. <laughs> oh! See, I planned it just right. I always love the guest fish catching them first. You know what I mean? <laughs> here, let me help you. Oh, Look at that pair. Yeah, How about that? Woohoo! Look at that fish. Oh, Beautiful my fish. Awesome, huh? There you go. That's Two nice we, bulls. That's what we do with the fall, man. Right here. <laughs> Love All right. those redfish. All right, I'm going to put All it back right. in. All right, we'll do. Here we go. All right, Ed, I think we may have a single here. Another great point. Look Listen, at that. Listen, I'm telling you, that's, that's one of them opportunities. There, get him. Nicely done. Great shot. Great shot. Well, Ed, listen, I'm telling you, good shot. You and Kurt both, man, I'm telling you, knocking the eyes out of them this morning. It's been great having you as my wingmen this morning, and I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for both you guys, but thank you for 20 years of greatness with Chevrolet. I'm looking forward to another 20. It's been great to have you, Bob, as Chevrolet's wingman. Well, listen, I, I'll always be there, and I, there's no place else I'd rather be. It's right here with Chevrolet, and I, I appreciate it very much. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, man. And let's go get some more birds. Let's go get some more birds. All right, man. Plus, I'm going to let you and Kurt hunt here on one of these segments, okay? All right, we're That's going to be another first. You guys hunting quail together, huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Let's do it. Welcome to Upcountry South Carolina. Discover the six counties in Upcountry South Carolina that run from metropolitan cities with fine dining and cultural events to pristine natural beauty and all the adventure that goes with it. From hiking, rafting, to some of the best fishing in the southeast. Six counties, one state, a million opportunities. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. Brown & Company Land Brokers present the Recreational Property of the Week. This pristine 124-acre property is located in Fairfield County, South Carolina. Features a 600-square-foot rustic cabin, one-acre stocked fish pump, a 24-by-36 Hoover pole barn, enclosed equipment shed and hunting stands throughout the property. There are abundant hunting opportunities for deer, turkey, wild hogs, and small game. Don't miss out on this great property. Schedule a viewing today. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Take a journey off the beaten path to Lake Hartwell Country. Tucked away in the northeast corner of South Carolina, Lake Hartwell Country is a hidden gem with waterfalls, mountains, beautiful lakes, and history dating back to Revolutionary War times. For the outdoor enthusiasts, Lake Hartwell Country offers fishing, hiking, water recreation, horseback riding, and so much more. Come visit Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina-grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Welcome to this week's edition of the Sportsman's Table, folks. We're here on the beautiful campus of Ori Georgetown Tech at the International Culinary Institute in Myrtle Beach. And joining me is freshman student, 
chef student, I should say, Lacey Rogers from Charlotte, North Carolina. And you've got a great recipe today, okay? Mm -hmm. Fish, I love fish. Yes. What kind are you going to be cooking? So we're cooking local red snapper today. Okay. And it's very good, very tender, very flaky. We're also making our uh, mashed potatoes with garlic and herb. Awesome. We're also having glazed carrots with sautéed Swiss chard. Oh, wow. Well, let's get started on this yes. fish because I'm telling you, red snapper is, is just great. So delicious. First thing we do, hear that sizzling. Okay. Now, how long are you going to cook the fish? Fish is the fastest cooking protein, so okay. we cook it max five minutes. I got you. So it's be three minutes about, and you just want to see it brown on the side. And I know one thing they teach you is don't overcook the meat, mm -hmm. okay? Whether it's fish or whatever it is. And Chef Tom always says no bland food allowed. There you so go. So we will be seasoning her, <laughs> making her taste so good. I see Charlotte, North Carolina is pretty close to where Tom Mullally's from. Boston, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know where it's at. And then you take it, scoop it from the bottom. Oh, yeah. Put it on that side. Mm. Get her a good sear. Okay. Now we have our glazed carrots. Oh, wow. That yeah. we set. All certified South Carolina. Mm. Yes. Very local and fresh. There you go. All right. You know, it's so great because it is also eye appeasing how they teach you guys mm -hmm. and gals. Because you eat with your eyes You're first. You're exactly right. There you go. Mm. And now we take our fish, we put it right on top. Oh, goodness. Leaving room. Mm. All right. There you go. A little garnishment. Yes, yeah. always got to have a garnish. There you go. And we garnish with a little bit of parsley. Just adds a pop of color. Okay. And now for a little squish of lemon. Yes, Ooh, gotta yeah. have the lemon. So you know, I've been doing that. this for 24 years and watching chefs, students, just like you guys and gals. I can't cook a lick, but I love to eat, okay? <laughs> there you go. We can always eat. You we bet. Well, Lacey, eat. thank you so much. It's thank a pleasure you so much. as you go on in your culinary career. I wish you the very best. Thank you. And I so tell you much. what, and folks, listen. That is another great recipe here on the Sportsman's Table. Log on to CertifiedSE.com and see what's fresh on the menu. It is truly a matter of taste. We'll see you right back here again next week on another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSE.com. It's a matter of taste. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking, offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. Chevy lets you begin every day fully charged. So you can go farther. And so can your money. Tow with confidence. Plus, stay connected with available OnStar technology. For summer adventures, Chevy's got you. Get 5750 total value on this Silverado LT when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. Chevrolet, together let's drive. 
Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these great partners. By the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, making life better in the outdoors of South Carolina. By Abu Garcia, fish to win with Abu Garcia. By Upcountry South Carolina, Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best quail hunting in the Southeast. And by Santee Cooper Country, Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Look at those dogs backing one another up. I'm serious. That's beautiful. <laughs> Point in the back. Milo's working it. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Beautiful morning. There it goes. There it go. Nice. Nice shooting. Great shooting, guys. Get loaded, because I think there's probably going to be more in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Milo got that. He'll get the other one in a minute. Get it up. Yep, and it's down. Mm. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Well, Kurt, you're being so gracious. <laughs> it's just the great guy that you are. <laughs> you can have some of mine. <laughs> Come here, guys. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hey, I can't help. I can't miss. Yeah, I'm telling you, you are definitely, you know, but but on behalf, hey, you know, Kurt. We, 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 we really, Ed, we, we set this up for you. We planned yeah. it. Okay. Did you? Yeah, we yeah. did. Because, you know, getting you out here is really, it is a special treat for us. Uh, Kurt and I can do me. this all the time. Oh, okay. You know, but well, we no, can't. Let's not get carried away. I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> no, guys, listen, I tell you what, I, I have truly enjoyed not only 20 years of relationship, but 20 years of friendship with both you guys. And you guys have helped me make it happen. And I just can't thank you enough. I even get kind of teary eyed when I talk yeah, about I it because, you. I, you know, it's been a pleasure. I'm envied all the time because the trust and confidence that both you all have put and the company has put in me and what we do here. And again, it truly is a magazine because Folks never know where I'm going to take that Silverado next. That's, right. That's the fun and, part. Uh, They're looking for you. It's yeah, always man. an adventure. And they That's are. That's right. And, and I love both you guys. I really do. And, and you guys here. are just we special. We appreciate you, Bob. Thank you so much. Yeah. Everybody Thanks appreciates you. Well, yeah. And we're Thanks. glad to get us out here. You bet. Thank you. I tell you what, we got to do it again. There's more birds, but the folks have got to go. That's our 20th anniversary show with Chevrolet. I've got Kurt Newbreck, Ed Bailey. These two guys were great wingmen today. And as I always like to say, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another episode of Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine. All right, man. The, the Silverado awaits. That's right. <laughs> Let's go get him. Thanks, Let's Bob. Go. All right, man.